Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. So we're going to do a you versus them. You decide what, you know, who falls on which side. So we have the Nine of Cups, the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So Taurus, on this side, what I'm feeling is someone's losing hope. Okay, with that Nine of Cups energy, that's wish fulfillment, that's hope, that's your happiness. Um, with the Death card, that's an ending. Okay, that is an ending. And I feel like someone is trying to find victory in moving on from something. Problem is, is that they can't seem to let go. This may possibly be a twin flame connection. Um, it may possibly be divinely guided counterparts, or there could possibly be a situation here where someone is living with someone and they're kind of stuck there and can't leave. You see what I'm saying? Um, so there's a sense of like, I, I can't let go. So either someone can't let go because they feel a strong soul tie or someone can't let go because, you know, they're living with someone and they're being held back. Maybe there's a contract or something along those lines um, or promises made or they can't let go because there's a certain sense of stability here that they, they don't want to uh, release. But I do feel like someone... Um, I do feel like someone here is trying desperately to move on from something. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Taurus? Nine of Cups and the High Priestess, Cancer Piscean Energy, the Death Card and the Two of Swords, Six of Wands and the Emperor, Aries Taurus Energy, Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles and the Justice card, Libra Energy. Yeah, it's it's very on and off here, Taurus. There's this energy of with the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups of I know this person is meant for me. With the Two of Swords and the Death card, I know this is over. I know I should stand my ground and have my pride and just move on and find someone new, sleep with someone else, go date, go do whatever, but I can't let this person go. Yeah, someone is holding back, hoping that there can be forgiveness, that this could come together again, or that someone will come back saying, listen, I'm sorry, you know, for hurting you. Um, you know what I'm saying? Someone feels that their karma is possibly this person coming back. Now, on this side here, we've got the Two of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Magician, Virgo energy. And we have the King of Wands, more fire energy here. Guys, I feel that someone, this person made the decision to cut this. I feel like the, maybe it was a divinely guided soulmate, but this person cut their blessings off. They made a very impulsive and reckless decision. Um, with the magician and the king of wands, I feel like this person um, may be a little manipulative, or it could just be this person is confident that they can manifest what they want somewhere else. Um yeah, I don't know. I feel like this person uh, may be a fast talker. Like someone here just makes promises, reckless. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person, is, it's just like they're confident that they can always manifest, you know? So they're quick to walk away. They're, oh, see, I just said that. And we've got the Eight of Cups that popped out. I'm going to take it. 
Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups with the Two of Swords. Someone here is quick to leave people behind because they know that they can just manifest on their own. This is a very confident person. The Wheel and the Ten of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person comes in hot and heavy and then just, you know, walks away. The Magician and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, King of Wands and the Four of Wands. It's interesting because this person is trying to manifest a Four of Wands energy. They're trying to manifest um, stability here. Or is it this person that's manifesting this person back? Because look, we've got the Four of Wands here, okay? Someone here just didn't want this. They didn't want that. This was destined to end. Someone here let this go. They released this, this blessing or this connection. They let it go. But Taurus, I feel like someone here is, is, is trying to, uh, manifest this connection back together. Problem here is I don't think this person's really taking the bait. Challenge here is the Three of Cups with the Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. So someone here is non-committal. Someone here is non-committal um, or someone has went off to work on something with a third party. So either somebody here is with someone else, has reconciled with someone else, or someone here is just wanting to live, you know, a, a, a lifestyle where, you know, they party, they have a good time, you know, because that Three of Cups talks about celebration, going out, partying, okay? So maybe someone here just wants to focus on work and partying, or it could be a situation where someone here has left the building to go work on something with a third party situation. What outcome do we see here? We have the Six of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the strength card, Leo energy. Someone here cannot move on from the past. Someone here, yeah, someone here cannot move on from the past because it's with the six of cups and the five of cups, someone is still mourning the past. Someone is still mourning this ex. And with the strength card, every time they want to move forward, they get drawn back to the past. It's like someone cannot let go of the past. I feel like someone here may be working magic, trying to get this, this king of wands back because four of wands, four of wands, someone may feel a soulmate connection here. And it very well may be because we have the wheel of fortune here which is a divinely guided soulmate so this person may really feel the soulmate connection and they're trying to manifest this person back but i feel like this person the challenge is, is that they just don't want to be held down they don't want to be in a relationship you know what i'm saying and and this person here can't seem to move on so here we have new supportive connections we have present power and we have playing it safe. So you see, someone met someone new and then they had a choice, old or new. You see what I'm saying? Someone had a choice to make and they played it safe and this person may have reconciled with an ex or stayed where it was safe. Yes, yeah, someone here was undecided. Someone here was undecided. Attachment. Yeah, someone here has possibly a negative attachment with someone from their past. And I feel like even though it might be toxic or even may, even though it may not be the best decision, I feel that someone here, you know, just they feel comfortable with that person. We've got religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and past life relationship. You have known each other before. So I feel that, you know, the divine is guiding this person back to the past. Maybe there's karmic lessons that, you know, need to be learned there. 
we've got clean it up yeah so i feel like spirit is advising someone came into your life made a mess or you went into someone's life and made a lot mess but somebody needs to get it together someone here is very hurt someone here can't let go but we need to wipe the slate clean so that we can move on okay i feel like someone here has something negative from their past that they're holding on to because it feels comfortable because they feel safe in that toxicity or whatever the case may be um but you know you can't force people to learn even though you know because i'm getting a sense of here of we belong together i could treat you better but you can't force people to see that you see what i'm saying so it's time to just clean it up wipe the slate clean and try to move on all right i love you bye